Antonio, you spoke this morning about the impact of the crisis in the economic institutions of global governance and in particular the role of European Union. Do you think this financial crisis could also be uh, an opportunity for reform and for deepening European integration institutions and uh, the role of European Union in economic global governance? Well, as I explained actually during my presentation, this has been really an unprecedented period of reforms, of changes, uh, and uh, under the pressure of the crisis, uh, the European leaders uh, had to uh, find forms of uh, uh, smooth uh, agreement, easy agreement, which was not easy because very often it was uh, highly controversial uh, what kind of solution should be given and uh, it is not a process which is over yet. But uh, uh, I would say that one of the important results has been that uh, the European Council has really taken the lead, taken the responsibility of uh, uh, addressing those issues which were not uh, solved before the crisis. We knew that it was in an incomplete union, but there was a certain inertia. Uh, the crisis has been certainly a stimulus. Now, to what extent the solution, the responses that have been given will be sufficient to address the crisis is another issue, and which was very much debated during the, during the meeting, and uh, many people actually asked to what extent I could uh, say that this will take us out of the euro crisis uh, it's a difficult uh, question to ask uh, but certainly without the crisis we, we would never go towards the creation of a solidarity instrument uh, never go towards the, the the project of the banking union for example which is now on the table of the european leaders uh, and many other things that have become a reality beyond expectations i would say one of the aims of our uh, Academy of Global Governance is precisely to contribute to this kind of debate uh, currently. And we try to put in contact different uh, views, different experiences, people coming from uh, the practice, people coming from the academia, decision makers, high officials, uh, academics. What do you think this kind of experience, the exchange of experience, would be interesting for this kind of debate? Uh, I, I was really surprised by the variety of the people coming from uh, all parts of the world uh, and with a very interesting balance, the gender balance, uh, uh, age balance, a strong intergenerational presence, uh, and uh, all with the the main, uh, uh, the, the main objective of learning from the others. Uh, and so people it, coming from different parts of the world. Yeah, exactly. This is what I noticed also. And uh, bringing different perspectives. And you realize that very often you have a perspective which is just narrow because you have not had the opportunity to listen to other perspectives. And it was, for myself, a very teaching experience. So I hope that I have uh, given something to the, to the audience, to this rich audience, but I really perceive that I go back uh, richer with something to, to learn and to reflect. Actually, my research topic will be certainly uh, modified by the stimulus, the input I have got. So uh, I, I'm at the same a practitioner in the sense that I, I'm an official of the European Commission, but at the same time I'm here with an academic goal this year. So in a way, I'm a very uh, representative animal <laughs> of this uh, of this group. Uh, uh, but I saw the richness of this exchange between. Uh, people who work in the institution and people who study the institution and uh, the, the fertility of this uh, exchange. Thank you.